everyone, this video is going to be on letter training your guinea pigs and what I do. And there they go. <laughs> I would just like to point out that it's easier to litter train your guinea pigs if you do it from day one. Don't say, oh, I'll start litter training them once I've had them for a while because they already have pretty bad habits. Um, this is the three level cage. It's usually like as three level cage, but I've split it up at the moment um, while I'm waiting for guinea pigs to go to new homes and um, bond my little girl herd together. So there's two in each level and they are... Um, it's the 120 centimetre cage, I don't know how wide, and it works out as... <laughs> I'm the deaf person who measured grids next to them, I should have brought some for you to see. It works out as uh, almost two, just short of two by three and a half. No, three, not three and a half. So, yeah, that's fine for two pigs, and it's definitely fine for the babies. So anyway, um, as you can see here, there's litter trays in each level. I will go down here, because they're less likely to freak. Um... The point I really want to make is that um, it's a lot, lot, lot less likely that your guinea pigs are going to become litter trained if you have a shop bought cage like I do here. Um, they're a lot more likely to become litter trained if you um, have a CNC cage, which is a lot bigger, or they like live on the floor, they live in a shed, something like that. Um, I found that the more space you have in your cage, the more likely it is that your guinea pigs will become litter trained. Um, in these cages, I actually don't expect my guinea pigs to use them, and most of the time they don't, but I like to use them as hay catchers so that I haven't actually got hay like floating through my bed. Okay, so when you initially get your guinea pig, they're likely to be that size, um, of dusty, and what I actually recommend you do is um, you get newspaper or get puppy pads. Um... As you can see here, for the babies I'm using newspaper, obviously they've pulled all their hay in here. Um, and there's a puppy pad on the outside covered in droppings and little specks of pee you can see there. So the reason why I, I use newspaper or puppy pads initially is because when they pee on the puppy pad, um, you can put it into the, into the litter tray and that obviously again attracts them to use the litter box and also newspaper seems to attract them so um, when you have them on floor time if you put down newspaper they'll tend to go and pee on it or um, you know if you just put it in the corner of their cage where they're peeing where you don't want them to pee because you want them to go in the litter box and you just remove it and you put it in the litter box and eventually they do actually catch on. Um, I find that female guinea pigs actually catch on a lot quicker than male guinea pigs. Um, there you can see. Gypsy. Gypsy does all her piddling in the litter tray. Um, don't be disheartened if it takes a while. It can even take up to a year. Some of my guinea pigs have been a bit thick. <laughs> and those are males, actually. The females pick up really quickly. Um, there'll still be droppings around your cage like that, but that's actually not a lot. There's four guinea pigs in here. Well, three, one and three babies, so don't have a cow. Um, yeah, so just keep at it, and maybe it will, maybe it won't work. I mean, it's more likely that if you have a large, larger cage or a larger area where you keep your guinea pig, it's a lot more likely that they will do most of their droppings in the litter box. Um, guinea pigs aren't really like, I mean, rabbits... I think rabbits are a little bit better at litter training, a lot better, actually. But they're not like... Guinea pigs aren't like us. They don't feel, oh, I need to go to the toilet and poo. Um, and then they run over and do it somewhere. It just kind of drops out <laughs> like they're walking along in the poo um, so don't be disheartened but it's very 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 likely that you can get your guinea pig to pee where you want them to pee um, but it can be less likely that you get them to do droppings where you want them to go um, so as you can see the babies are just starting to be litter trained and that's why there's newspaper in there um, once they get the hang of it um, I'll put in another substrate you need to make the substrate something different than the substrate that you use in your bed so if you use sawdust, um, I don't know, put paper bedding in, in the litter box or put um, wood pellet or, you know, something else, megazorb, something like that, in the litter tray so that they associate the litter tray with going to the bathroom and their bed as, like, bed and plane and things like that. So that's basically <laughs> all I can say about litter training. Um, if you have any questions, just post them below and I'm sure... I this isn't like the most amazing video, but I think you get the idea. Um, if you have rabbits, again, it's more likely that you can litter train them really, really quickly, whereas guinea pigs, they can take a while. Um, girls usually get it. Boys often not so much because they're too busy um, scent marking their territory. So um, 
Are you eating the Scottish Daily Express? So yeah, <laughs> if you have female guinea pigs, you're probably going to be able to litter train them a lot quick, a lot more quickly than if you have, oh you can't see anyone under there, than if you have male guinea pigs. Uh, male guinea pigs, they'll either catch on or they won't. It depends how territorial they are. So I hope that helps someone and uh, we will catch you all again in the next video. Bye!